Matt here for Toolbox Talks. Now, whether or not you work on the job site, you'll encounter chemicals in your daily life. Now, you could be using chemicals to clean up a mess at home, you could be putting gasoline in your car, or there could even be a spill in your neighborhood. In the construction industry, you may be exposed to more than the average person each day. Now, way back in 1983, OSHA enacted the Hazard Communication Standard, also known as the Employee Right to Know Act. Additionally, in 2012, the U.S. implemented the Globally Harmonized System, which standardized the chemical information and made it much easier to understand. Because of these two acts, you have the right to know and actually understand the chemicals you're using. A one-time exposure to some of these chemicals may not be a huge deal. Some are more of a big deal on the first time. Long-term, repeated exposure by inhaling or making physical contact with a lot of these chemicals over your career can be a big deal, so you need to know. This is why we have the Safety Data Sheets, or SDS manual. SDS information is provided by manufacturers and will always be in a consistent 16-section format. Each section has different information about the chemical, such as handling practices, ingredients, and hazards. Don't forget, the fastest way to find an SDS for the chemical you're concerned about is to Google the manufacturer, chemical name, and SDS. If for some reason you don't have a working phone, we have these big yellow binders as a backup. In this video, we're reviewing sections one through four of the SDS manual. For this example, we're gonna use gasoline. So we literally Googled SDS gasoline. Section one. Identification. Section one tells us about the chemical product, what its use is, and the company or contact information. Section two, composition and information on ingredients. This section tells us what chemicals or ingredients are in the product. Section three, hazards identification. In this section, you can find the different dangers of using this chemical. For example, with gasoline, don't let this get in your eyes. It can burn your skin and damage your lungs if you inhale great amounts of it. Notice the chronic effects and carcinogenicity section. Contains benzene, a regulated human carcinogen, or causes cancer. Benzene has the potential to cause anemia or other blood diseases, including leukemia, after repeated and prolonged exposure. Don't get this on you. Be careful handling it. Section four, first aid measures. If you're exposed in a harmful way to the chemical, or if the chemical makes contact with your body, how should you respond and treat it? In the case of gasoline, if it makes contact with your eyes, immediately flush with clean, low pressure water for at least 15 minutes. By the way, that's what the two gallons of distilled water are for in the safety boxes. At least you've got something to get started with. Make sure your eyes are completely flushed clean. You get the picture. Use gasoline carefully on the job and be careful handling it. We'll cover the rest of the sections in other videos. Take advantage of the information here. Pull this up on your phone or use the binder. This is here to help you. Even if you're not on the job site, the SDS information is the best way to find out what steps we need to take when there is a spill at work or in the neighborhood. You don't want to end up with a life-changing accident because you handled the chemical poorly. Remember that the things you expose your body to affect more than just you. Thanks, and keep up the good work. Propylene glycol? That doesn't sound good.